Also in July of 2000 and 2005, uh, we talked about Big Brother. We had the battle Michael V. Cappy. The Cappy. big fight that happened in the in the Cappy. yard on Big Brother 6. Uh, Sorry, that Cappy. Cappy. It was a, a big, uh, a near fist fight broke out in the Big Brother house. It was, it was Michael and Janelle on the block. And then uh, Michael started uh, talk, saying some stuff to Cappy. He didn't like that. Little man complex. Uh, yeah, uh, Yvette said she was going to get. I, I believe she said she was going to get uh, Latin on his ass. Was that yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, then and they got into a fight. And then Michael said, uh, "You have a small penis." And oh. uh, they threw down. And then uh, well, his head look kind of looked like a penis. <laughs> and then uh, from there, then Michael went out, and then Cappy, and then Kaser. Um, you know what the big I mistake of Big Brother was is when the um, uh, when Howie got um, <clears throat> when Howie. Uh, John, that didn't happen yet. <laughs> this is July. Oh my! Oh my God! We're talking about the show. Okay. I thought you wanted to talk about Kill Reality. I did. July it. July twenty sixth on your on your E Entertainment. You want me to talk about Kill Reality? Well, sure. Let's talk about Kill Reality. <laughs> Just kidding. Rob, Rob, let's talk about Kill. Rob, I come onto the set, and Rob says to me, you know what, let's create something interesting. And I say, Rob, okay, let's do something Now, did I say that or you said that? Well, what's the difference? <laughs> no, no, I think that's a big difference. No, no, no. I say. So he, I like, said it or you he said it. Call, he calls me up. He says, okay, John, I'll sign the contracts. I'll do what you want. We'll do this little stuff. And behind my back... The little snake over here no. goes over no, behind no. a rock. He goes over behind a rock and he gets on his cell phone and he pretends to make phone calls. No. And then he, put in front of America, he deter is determined just to take me down with his. Now, are we telling voice. the true story of, of what happened? Oh. You're not a snake. Uh, I am. I am not. You are not First a snake. Uh, this happened in August on television, not July of 2005. So I, <laughs> I, it pains me to talk about this at this point. But since you have brought it up, I will acknowledge what actually happened. Now, is it's it squirming. true or it's is it squirming. not true that at the time that we were filming on television, everything had already been settled with your contract? No, it hadn't. Not yes, good. it had. You yes. know what, Eric? Let me bring. No, no, no. Let's bring, bring, let's bring the Scott producer. In. Let's bring the producer in that was actually on the set. Eric, mm -hmm. did we not have conversations before before we started shooting about the contract and everything, and where you actually made it right and you actually wrote in yes, it? Yes, that worked, morning. Worked, worked, worked by, the by, by the end of the morning, your contract was settled. Correct. You, you know what? And, and I, I would have to. I'd have to defer to Robin this because the timeline for me on that day was a little fuzzy. Do you not remember you our conversation? You yeah, yeah, we, 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 had, we, had okay. a, we had a like an hour and a half of conversation. Thank you. Very we settled much. your contract in the morning. Okay. I turned down my earphones. It's a little loud. All right. uh, in the morning. I'm not gonna let him win this, Scott. <laughs> There's right. just no way. So you might here's, the, just here's push the timeline on. of events. Uh, sometime around uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, Jonathan and Victoria show up on movie set. Uh, there is some some uh, settling of the contract that needs to go on. By mid-afternoon, all of Jonathan Baker's contract is settled, correct? Correct, but we agreed to rehash it on camera. Oh, so we... Oh. Okay. So now you... Now, and as a story record, arc. As a story arc. Okay. And you so you're saying you want to... Snake! Okay, so... Snake! You, then, then you say... Snake in the grass! You say, I, want, I want to come up with some drama on camera. I want, to, I want to act like... And he says, this is what you need to do. I come, I'll come on and act like I need to have my contract settled, and you have to deal with that. And, and then I say that, and, and as a storyline, as a storyline, I know this is kind of confusing. So you created your own so, storyline out okay. of my story. So line. I said, yeah. okay, you, you say you want all these demands, <laughs> and then I'll tell you to go f yourself. And you said, no, 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 no. What you have to do is say that you'll take care of it. And I said, well, that makes me look like a huge wuss. And you said, no, that's your story arc. <laughs> so you that's came in and you, defined, you defined what my story arc is. And I said, okay, fine. I'll tell you that. But I said in my head, okay, this is what I'll, I'll, I'll make the story arc be. I'll tell Jonathan that and then pretend that that wasn't how it was going on. Katie. Just remember. I'm sorry. You're, what? I passed out. You, wait. You're 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 the, you're the witness, right? Just remember one thing. Okay. There's payback in this world. Oh. It might not be then. It might not be now. But trust me, there's payback in this world. All right. Come
Come on, I thought. Oh, can't we? Can't, can't we move shake past hands this? Well, hey, we're, we're here in review. I am. I'll be past it in 2006. Ooh. I am an opportunist. <laughs> I will. I will always try to uh, jump on any opportunity. There you hear it, people. He's an opportunist, and he's going to jump on now. Any you can. Now, likewise, you saw Man your or woman. You saw your opportunity was to try to make you look as good as possible. No, I was just trying to create a story arc. I wasn't trying to make you look bad. I would never do that. But to you. the story, up to that point, you were one of my favorite people. The story in the arc television. that you created was that I'm a pushover. You could have changed and, it and done anything you wanted to do, and I would have gone with it. You didn't have to take it, and make it so preposterously negative. Wow. Okay. And I. And it was reality, guys. Yeah. It was reality. It sounds and in very real. We'll be on. I'm trying to create a story arc. How often do you say that? Scott, in your life? never. Excuse me. It's Scott. never during the making of Kill Reality. <laughs> never. No. Okay. Just trying to make sure. <laughs> By the way, this was this was something that your friend <laughs> wanted <laughs> to make. <laughs> He's not even listening. I'm listening. Really? Yeah. <laughs> he wanted me to do this to you. Okay. No, I did. I said art? talk. I didn't say you have to All make right. up stuff. I didn't make up anything. What? Make up what does anything. it say? I did what you wanted me to do, Scott. I appreciate it. Thanks. Okay. All right. All right. I'm the puppet master. You're the right. puppet master. <laughs> okay. So let's talk. Let's talk about August of 2005. Uh, we had we had the whole uh, Kesar uh, hokey pokey incident. Uh, Kesar gets voted back into the house. He gets voted out of the house, and then he's out of the house. And then he, uh, you know, subsequently oh. shake it all about. Was he was he one of the best players of that season, or was that just you know a, a whirlwind of everybody hating the other side? Oh. Um, I don't think that he would. What did he do that was so great? I think I he was just smart. <laughs> From I mean, what he was, I heard, because he I didn't watch it. He was Puppet smart. Master? Yes, he was smart, but I think he was smart by comparison more so than smart. Uh, I don't think he was out there to play the game. Yeah, he not was to. not out there to be a guest. Jamie was the best. She really played great. She acted great. She played Survivor inside of Big Brother. Yeah, and she plays. He seems like, like a good enough guy, but I mean, he did get himself voted out of the house uh, two Not times once, in three but weeks. Plays, right? But uh, you have to remember that he was there. He was there as a guest. He wasn't there. He thought he was going to be going, you know, for one day, two days, and then he'd go home. He ended up playing the entire game. So. George CTV says he had one week of HOH power and it went to his head. Uh, you know what? I, I don't know if it went to his head, but I think he made some moves that pissed people off. And I think if he didn't do it, someone else was going to yeah. do it. And I think he's a, an extremely interesting guy. A, a very interesting to see a, a, a person of Iraqi descent on a, on a reality show. Uh, kudos to the casting that, that put him on. It was a very interesting guy to have on, but let's not, go, let's not go crazy, you know? It was daring to put him on, that's for sure. I thought he was going to be one of the first out. So obviously he had a very soft personality that allowed okay. him to get to go where he went. Uh, banging through on the August of 2005. So you think you can dance? Yeah. You love that show, Jonathan. No. <laughs> no, it's not a reality show. Again, that's, that's a variety, variety show. show. <laughs> it's America Dance Dance. What about Tommy Lee Goes to College? Yes! You like that? Yeah. I watched the first three or four episodes <laughs> And then it got to be too contrived. It was written, it was contrived. Contrived? You're talking about building a story arc in reality TV, and you're saying that Tommy Lee goes too to Too contrived. When he